Hello, after a long time I again come with those amazing medicine and why this video suddenly is here because we are in winter time and those common fever we always face okay so today I am going to say three medicine and this three medicine you can use just for basic purpose if you see those kind of symptoms during winter session but again I am telling you this video is just for information purpose and it is not authorized by any medical department or something else those are this video is only for the per person and the peoples who really know about medicines because those medicines are not so much harmful and those medicines do not has very much highly side impact so if you found and if you find any kind of basic symptoms you guys can use those medicine okay so and before taking those medicine you have to remember those medicines are just for basic preliminary medicine and those is not associated with any kind of highly any diseases so don't try to take any kind of action by yourself without doctor discussion or the prescribed medicines those medicine just for information purpose who already use those medicine or maybe no medicine or maybe the basic symptoms they can those medicine you guys can use but again I'm telling you if you have some another symptoms diseases for the long time if you have fever for the long time those cannot be considerable for any basic medicines which I always show as informative videos for the medical purpose that will be never usable by any common people remember and you also have to remember that when you have a long fever and the fever is going and again you are getting off and then again it is going and continuous fever if you have for one month or more than that then you must go for your blood taste because this cannot be related with a small or maybe the very common bacterial or viral infections it can be caused for any further disease for that you need high much protective measure or your treatment so for basic if you have those kind of symptoms and you can take those medicine now when I will discuss you will come to know what exactly the purpose it and how it, it will really help just to understand basic three common medicine during this winter session okay so the first medicine today is of loxacin this is the medicine molecular formula is C18 H20 and FN3 and O4 so there is a 3 FN ion is there and this synonym is called Oflexin Terift and this sometime is also considered as a Floxin okay it was created in 2015 I mean is a fluoroquinoline antibacterial antibiotic which I already told in this winter's time sometime you have bacterial infections and for those infections you have fever and this medicine will be a amazing treatment for those time and remember but this fever should not continue within you for the long time then it will be not a normal common fever then you have to go for the blood test this medicine only for if you found quite related to like this small time you can get those things and again what I always suggest before taking any high allopathic medicines you must have a discussion with the doctor 
at least for the any person who highly associated with the health department as well now if you go to the chemical structure here you find if right what is the meaning of if it is an iron ion iron and then in nitrogen is there and oxygen is there and hydrogen is there right now you can also see the 3d model here which the all the chemical person can highly understand this what the structure it is in any student who know about the chemical bond and how it was made the basic can understand it now when I come to the chemical structure there is a carbon and carbon one bond and then this bond CCCOC2 with the bond with C3N1C and this bond with the C then in the back you C and the O and C3 and CC so molecular formula which I told the C18 so total 18 carbon ion 20 hydrogen 1 F and 3 nitrogen and O I mean oxygen ion is a 4 okay and now here temperature the melting point is 254 degrees C those are the melting temperature for this kind of particular composition when we destruct this composition remember this is the medicine which was University of Vienna and uh, many I mean they found those medicine compositions mostly you know medicines are highly in developed in the CDC and highly drafters now I'm not telling that you can get those medicine this is medicine name of medicine you can find in within any brand name it is a fever bacterial fever medicine and it is as considered as an antibiotic okay now you can take this medicine just for purpose if you found that you have a little bit very really mild very you know mild fever okay and you also know that you do not have any other symptom in your body only fever because you uh, went outside during the winter time and then only it medicine will be considerable but if you found that your body and you have many other symptoms like just for a common example if you have hepatitis in your body that then your body go weak for the long time okay so for that the fever which you will get it will maybe not for the short term maybe for one week it came and again it go and then again it comes so it will be the continuous process at the same time when you have a uh, if you have malaria or if you have a dengue those fevers always like is a uncertain for okay so paracetamol is a basic medicine which you can take to reduce your temperature which is not considered as any kind of antibiotic anti okay because it is not any killer it is just to reduce your temperature because it is a basically one kind of a painkiller the composition of the paracetamol is a basically one with painkiller compositions which i told in my earlier video but here this is a very much functionable antibacterial so if you find that it is a bacterial infection you found because of some, some uh, suppose like you have a very wrong food within body and then suddenly you got a fever obviously it is a bacterial infection something some bacteria in, go inside in your body so that can be workable here okay so again but if your fever is a long time you have to 
consult your doctor because and also you must have your blood test because you don't know what exactly behind you inside you cause for a long time fever now I'm not going to discuss with many things here directly now you can go for the main purpose why it's so much important. The Offlexine is a second generation fluoroquinoline that was previously used widely for the therapy of mild to moderate back in I told you they have a mild fever which has been replaced by the more protein potent and the less toxic. This medicine also prescribed by the sometimes few of doctors to the children who has very less immunity power and obviously children has those kind of you know capacity they cannot absorb the high molecular structure of the medicines so for those time sometime because it is a toxic listen one to one to kill one toxic we use another toxic okay and this composition has less, less toxic than other but if you have a mild bacterial infection that doctor easily can understand now Offlexine appears in a breast milk in a low level okay so those are composition also you can find in the normally into the human body and it's amazing to say that a mother milk from mother mother breast milk is amazing sources of this particular compositions so if a children has this kind of you know amazing best milk from mother when it, the children was very little it is always protective and that's always all, do, all doctors always right this medicine you can take if you feel that it is a very mild fever you have and the cause is bad to infections and you can buy from any medical shop and this is not so highly you know side effect on your body so it do not it does not ha have any kind of side impact so much so you can use this medicine if you find the basic fever you have during winter season because it's an antibacterial and remember it will may not reduce your fever because it is just will kill your bacteria so automatically within the seven day you can fi find the result within your body okay yes Yeah, so the next medicine is amazing to say because this medicine sometimes we can use as a single individual or sometimes we can we also can find this composition of ofoxylin and orindazol. These two medicine can be combined as a medicine because this medicine for bacterial infection or orindazol for protozoa infections protozoa we know all the parasite and the microorganisms as a considered protozoa and this protozoan infections it is also an antibiotic because to kill all this protozoa I mean something go inside in your stomach and then you can find diarrhea and if you have a diarrhea and the fever then time Ofoxylin and orinazole composition you can take if you have only diarrhea symptoms do not have any fever or any kind of symptoms then orinazole you can take so this way winter time it sometimes happen okay so you can take this medicine if you have diarrhea or mild diarrhea and the cause for the protozoa or the microorganisms go inside your body for the low quality of food or you did not wash your food very much amazing way okay the lack of you know water and the villages is sometimes happen the people don't wash food very much especially the fishes fish protozoa those organisms you can find 
very highly in the small fish so if you have those you know unclear all these fishes and you eat and it was not boiled properly sometimes you can have those kind of diarrhea symptoms so for that times oriental is amazing medicine you can find these two medicine as a combination you also can find this medicine as a individual you both can take okay this is the orindazole. Now coming to the composition uh, structure. The structure is C7, H10, Cl, chlorine, and N3 and O3. Okay, so only one Cl molecule you can find here. Her nitrogen is six, three, same like of oxaline. Okay. Now this medicine is always comes under the composition with ofoxalin because both are the antibiotic but this medicine has special treatment for the protozoan or protozoa if you go it's go inside in your body so it is basically some mostly used to you know if you have diarrhea kind of symptoms and okay so if you have fever with your diarrhea and then this is amazing sometimes we, we know the one medicine I call the metronidazole the both medicine are quite similar or in the jaw okay yes now third medicine is amazing why it's amazing because I told that one is for the mild little fever and then for the bacterial infection and one for you if you have diarrhea in symptoms mild diarrhea then or in the jaw and a fusling for the mild battery infection and the fever at the same time and those med two medicine can be as a combined medicine also a fusling or in the jaw medicine that also you can find in the medical shop and the third medicine is on the sterone this medicine is basically a chemical composition to block your vomiting from your body okay if you have okay now on the steroid is used to prevent vomiting that may caused by the surgery or the cancer what will happen you know if you have high med medicine and if you take those high medicine sometimes vomiting activities may occur it also happen if you if you if you if your nervous system is so weak okay and you go with the for the long travel your digestive digesting power is not so much capable and that time vomiting kind of symptom occur vomit basically comes to those person the person's nervous system is not so strong as normal okay this is the basic thing now it it block those things okay and you know if you are so nervous person you suddenly you know you get always nervous and just for a few reason if your heart capacity is also so weak those person basically always uh, suddenly is happen the vomiting you can find okay so this medicine is helpful for that and why this medicine is suggested in this winter time is happen when you are getting a lot of high, high kind of medicine you are going with a long travel and winter time your nervous system is more become more weak than the normal summer time and when you have the infection of you know the protozoas infections and uh, bacterial infections and you are taking high allopathic medicines i mean the molecular composition medicines which is highly impactful on your body your nervous system may reduce the function and that can cause for the vomiting okay and it's only happening when, when you have the high food in your body but your digesting power is not much capable like a normal and also your nervous system is not working so fast your heart beat getting less you are going for long travel is happen so reduce those kind of headache and tension from your body your heartbeat from the normal and all the body function must go in a smooth way that this medicine can help 
so understood medicine is for the poor person who feel always vomiting for the nerve it is basically one symptom is directly related with your nervous system okay so if you feel and if anybody has this kind of problem vomiting problem when you are going for the long travel or you have a high allopathic medicine list because you have a lot of disease for this person if you have very weak immunity uh, uh, organ function not immunity is different thing immunity system of the blood uh, circulation system and organs mean every single part in our body they are working together to keep ourselves so active so those organic systems sometimes become less because your nervous system is so weak and you are not so confident person and your digestive power is also less that time you may feel this kind of vomiting okay and now sir now say and then you can take this on this terror medicine now coming to the structure here you can find nitrogen or oxygen bond okay and C18, H19, N3, again in N3 and O. And this basically make your kidney amazing functionable. Okay. Yeah. You know so why this medicine become as if you have a high allopathic medicine and for those purposes if you have doctor suggest high medicine but for that reason you feeling vomiting and then you can take this medicine you can find the information on the many internet site that it is sometime if you if you are go to the lot of uh, therapy for the cancer can you chemotherapy surgery and for this purpose you can use this medicine that obviously but for normal purpose if you feel vomiting vomit kind of symptoms in your body you may use this amazing medicine on the steroid okay again i'm telling you this information for the informative purpose okay if you want to know what exactly eat and how this medicine will help you don't take this medicine without any prescription from the doctor and discussion with the doctor okay because it has side impact now coming to the side impact you can get head headed headache and tiredness those sometimes happen so obviously you have to remember when you're taking high medicine you must take high quality food and basically the food which is high related to the protein and vegetables okay so yeah so remember this three medicine is very common and sometimes you can find is usable in this winter session because you are going to the lot of infection sometimes you can have fever it may cause may reason for the bacterial infection and if purple jua for the unclean fishes or you did not wash all your food so much you can get all this microorganism in your body and that can cause for diarrhea that can cause for fever and also when you are taking those high medicine you can feel vomiting and for this purpose you can take on the steroid and this three medicine is very much essential and you may get prescribed from the doctor in during this winter time and those are the very common medicine in the winter time thank you very much to know much more about medicine and information related to various kind of common diseases you can subscribe this channel and for other many information around the world you can subscribe this channel this channel is world most informative most entertaining and amazing way you can learn something which you never learned before in your life so just you need to subscribe i think everybody like to know the bell in your house right so here you can click on the bell to get fast notification from this channel thank you very much thank you from the vietroy